Hey everybody, I just want to throw out a little tip for parents heading into the summer and teachers. You can, you know, hold on to this as a tip for when you get back to work in September. But heading into summer, I want you to think about this. Mom, dad, aunties, uncles, whoever's, you know, raising kids this summer. I want you to think about the science of emotions and emotional intelligence and how important it is to developing strong character, grit, perseverance, intrinsic motivation, passion, dealing with conflict, all those great things. So here's the science, and this is real. For our kids, I want you to think about and focus on the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex. And this video is about developing the prefrontal cortex. The amygdala is where our nerves, our polyvagal nerve, send signals to when a child feels stress. And that's where you end up in your fight, flight, and freeze response. And it's not just children, it's us too. Your prefrontal cortex is where we develop things like our executive functions, where we learn how to deal with conflict. We learn how to critically think, learn how to be creative, organize, plan, all those sorts of things. So here's what I want, it's pretty simple. And it's not requiring you to do a lot of homework, it's just requiring you to have a little bit of consistency. So. When your child asks you a question this summer, and they're probably going to ask you a thousand, I'm sure, when they want something from you, I want you to at least five to ten times attach a task to it or an action to it. Okay? Meaning, so if your child says, Mom, can I have some ice cream? Your response should be, Sure, ask me again once you go and make your bed. Or if your child says, hey, can you come outside and play with me? Your response should be, ask me again after you take the garbage out. Or, you know, ask me again after you pick up your, pick up your toys, etc., etc. So in school, it would be for a teacher, if a kid asks to go to the bathroom, we'd say, okay, you can, you can ask me again after you finish these two math questions or after you read this paragraph or after you write the letter B. B is in bat, B, B, B three or four times, right? So the reason why we want to do that, instead of saying no, because ultimately, if our default response is no, it's going to send a stress signal to the amygdala and then our kids will go into fight, flight and freeze. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but that's a different video where we talk about dealing with emotions and the fight, flight and freeze response. It's about assigning that task so that way we can send a message to the prefrontal cortex so our kids can develop those skills, those critical thinking skills, the work ethic, the perseverance, communication, all of those good things. So I'm not saying doing it all day long because you'll never be able to keep up if your kids were anything like mine. It's like nine million questions a day. But if you can tell them to wait, attach it to a task or an action, you'll help develop their prefrontal cortex. And that prefrontal cortex development is key in having kids with strong character, being able to work through things, develop those communication skills, etc., etc. Okay? And that's what we want to do. So this summer, parents, let's work on that prefrontal cortex development because there is a science behind brain development that affects how our kids grow up. And that doesn't mean our kids are going to be angels. Sometimes, and I know, sometimes you don't see how well you've done as a parent until your kids are 18, 19 years old because they still drive us nuts. But you lay a strong foundation by taking note and developing the prefrontal cortex. My next video is going to be about fight, flight, and freeze in the amygdala and how we can soothe that so you can get past things like tantrums or pouting or sadness or those things that are hard to deal with sometimes, right? Boredom. Anyways, principals, teachers, assistant principals, vice principals, share this with your parents. Give them a little bit of homework that's easy and not hard to do. Plus you're teaching them about brain science. All right, parents, good luck. Stay tuned for the next video.